Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I just wanted to say that this is not live and this is scripted and rehearsed so no emotion slips at all. But I'll try to deliver this like as if I'm there in person. Probably by the time this will be uh, shown to all of you, I'd already be at work. Oh, and uh, this is not a lecture. First of all, I want to thank everyone who responded to our invitation to join us in celebrating mom and dad's 40th wedding anniversary. I know one month is a short notice in such a busy month of November and December, but you're all there, so thank you for coming. I'd like to think that your presence there overwhelms my absence. If uh, circumstances were to my favor, I know, and you know, I would never miss this milestone of our family. You would not only see me, you would probably also hear more of me because I know my role, or well, what used to be my role when we have these kinds of gatherings in the family. I'd be there in the podium, all mic'd up, and ready to talk if needs be all night. And I miss that. Well, for now, I'm here in my home in Toronto and recording myself on video. And honestly, the feeling is weird. I haven't really zeroed in on the exact term to capture my feelings right now, but it borders indifference and sargraping because I could not be there. The indifference is more grounded in the fact that I'd rather be indifferent than feel sad and depressed here of the fact that I can go home and be with my family and be with all of you in celebrating this milestone. So it's more of my coping mechanism. The sour graping, I think, is normal. I'm sure you would be sour graping also if you can't have what you want, if you can't be where you want to be. So uh, that's where I am while I was writing this message and right now while I'm taking a video of myself delivering this message. What I wanted to say is... Uh, Mom and dad deserves this celebration. 40 years is a long time. And there's so much that has happened in our family that the ordinary formula for the exchange of vows during marriage, well, you can recite this with me to make it more dramatic. To have and to hold for this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death was part, has become a rule of law in their married and family life. And add the four of us into the challenge, each of us made up of their genes and their kind of stubbornness mixed together. Well, whoever wants to write a family saga for a new teleseria, let's talk. 40 years of married and family life, that's a lot of seasons and episodes to get hooked on every night on primetime TV. Seriously. Well, setting aside, that's why uh, when mom asked me if we should celebrate this milestone back in early 2018, I encouraged it. And I was more than excited to finally come home after five years since the last time I was able to for Jobert and Margaret's wedding. She brought up this plan before I lost my job last year and was unemployed over a year. That's the reason why I can't go home. I still have to get back on track. And because of my circumstances last year, I forgot about the plan until she brought it up again a few months ago this year. Minus the excitement to come home because I know I can't go home anymore, we started to plan and prepare for this event. And I am glad that Indai, Jobert, Nini, and Margaret got all the preparations done while I sour grape here. And thank you so much, Indai, Jobert, Nini, and Margaret, and to EJ and Earl, and Marvi for keeping their spirits up by your stories and antics, and to baby Pia for soothing their stress, as they all make this best for mom and dad. I already said earlier that I encourage this milestone because mom and dad deserves it. They did a great job as parents, as our parents. No matter how difficult it is to make ends meet, as they work their differences. And with that, they deserve to celebrate this milestone because in those 40 years, they were not only raising us, which is already a full-time job without leave credits, they were also sharing their persons with the rest of the family, with the rest of the community. 
they were good at what they do with dad as a surgeon and with mom as a nurse, an educator, a counselor, an administrator. I mean, name it, she can do it. And sometimes their ideals and ways of doing things clash. But their love and compassion always win. And in those 40 years, no matter the shortcomings, no matter the comings and goings, in those 40 years, every single time love wins, when compassion wins, and looking back to all those moments as one whole reality, this celebration of mom and dad's 40 years is a necessity. And this brings me to my second reason why I encourage this, because it is a necessity. If this is just a celebration about them and their 40 years of marriage, when tomorrow comes, this is over. They will start their journey to their 41st, and we continue with our lives with a good feeling of having been here tonight to witness our family celebrate their 40th. I encourage this because I want this to be more than just that. I encourage this because it can be an affirmation, a testimony, a celebration that love prevails. Not just marriage, but love. That love prevails in mom and dad's marriage for 40 years. Take note of that, that love prevails in mom and dad's marriage. Marriage can last for 40, 50, 100 years till they part in death, but without love. A marriage with, without love is a sad reality we have looking into the institution of marriage, and it creeps into the institution of family and infests further society. I encourage this because through this milestone we are celebrating as a family, we also affirm, testify, and celebrate the triumph of love, of the institution of love. Every opportunity we can get. That is what binds us, love. That, that is what keeps marriages work and last, love. And when we go back to how we define family as the basic unit of society, flowing from the love in marriage of two persons, again, this is not a lecture, comes uh, a, a family bound by love. And when that basic unit, the family, is bound by love, well, I might just be idealistic, but bottoms up, we all share the work to have a society, a world bound by love. I think this is a perspective we have to look into especially when the institution of family is being distilled nowadays. And every time love prevails or love triumphs, it is a milestone worth affirming, worth celebrating. We sometimes take it for granted, but when love triumphs, it resonates to everyone. We don't feel it resonate to us sometimes because we sometimes trivialize it, if not underestimate love. That is why affirm and celebrate it moment after moment if needs be. I think the world needs that now. Mom and Dad, thank you for always letting love win. Your children and in-laws and grandchildren know how the going gets tough. How you both continue to struggle with your differences, with that kind of stubbornness and passion we all have. That's why we understand Thank you for choosing to be present and hands-on all the time. Thank you for letting us shine and celebrate every time we share the gifts God has given us in so many ways we can to others, for others. Thank you for showing us how to live life in the faith. We know that all of those are part of the journey. We have lived our lives already to know how making ends meet require tough choices. We have lived our lives, struggled and excelled, struggled and excelled, struggled and excelled in the many things we do to know that life is not easy. You have taught us tough love, and we learn to live our lives to the fullest with that tough love. And thank you for all of that. With that, I'd also like to thank everyone who have journeyed with us in good times and bad times. I can't name all of you because I might end up like the litany of the saints that would last till midnight. But you all know who you are. My family is honored and ever grateful of your gift of person, presence, and generosity in all its forms. 
You are God's gift to us. So thank you. Mom and Dad, thank you for letting love prevail and triumph for 40 years. And uh, we all hope and pray as we journey with you in our own lives with all our mind, heart, and spirit for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth beyond death. I love you all and I miss you all. How I wish I am there. It's our great thing. Thank you very much.